Okay, so we're going to make a live holder that has collet nuts. And this is going to be a project where we want the collet nut to spin. Looking at the holder, we have our collet nut is stationary until the live spindle engages. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that the orientation of this is correct. This is a WTO product from the website. You can see uh, their logo there. So the Z-axis we want going um, <clears throat> normal to the face that interfaces with the turret. So um, this is going to slide in, sit up against this face, and this Z-axis is correct. We want it to point up into the turret. Additionally, uh, which side do we want when we load this to come in toward the main spindle? So I'm going to have this, I, basically with these uh, Nakamura <clears throat> style holders, I am putting this little, uh, this little guy here toward the sub. So the red indicates, the red X indicates the direction toward the main spindle. So that is also correct in the way that we would download this and load it into Esprit. So we don't need to do any rotation or orientation commands. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just change some of the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and say select all, come to properties, come down here. And I like to always for the WTOs be somewhere around, you know, 78 to 80, uh, picking black and then going to custom colors and sliding this up so they're all equal. Once I do that, uh, we've darkened this a little bit so it looks like uh, more representative of what their product looks like. Okay, so really quick here because I forgot to indicate this uh, when I was recording the video is when you want to zoom on st or uh, select stuff and you're you're using the 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 click and drag method to do this, um, you can either select a solid or an individual face. And to do that, we want to, when you start your Esprit, um, you're going to come down here and look at your selection filter, which is this first icon down at the lower right. And when you do that, uh, you have all this stuff. We want to look at this area here, this, this uh, box for bodies. Basically, we want to click on the, on the overall box. And when we do that, this is unhighlighted. And then we want to come here and pick the face icon, which is right here. And when we do that, now when I scroll or drag, I should say, my, my mouse, I can grab individual faces of items on the screen. So this is how we're going to be selecting the individual faces in a second here coming up. I'm going to come in here and grab just the letters of the logo, right click, say copy, and go to attribute, pick red and we'll do that and then hit F4 on the keyboard and that will uh, kind of normalize everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold control on my keyboard and as I move my mouse right over this and hit the middle mouse wheel I can rotate about the x-axis and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna uh, window in on these and then I'm gonna do the same thing down here just so that the coolant uh, nozzle is out of the way. I'm going to hold control and as I hold control I can add to the group. So I'm going to hold control and drag and then I'm just going to right click and say copy and come down here to this light gray which is in the Windows default colors. Say OK. <clears throat> Hit OK twice. And now we can see we have this and what I can do here is also just position this in a way where I can just uh, grab these um, uh, coolant nozzles as well and just kind of hold control on the second one and drag and I like to kind of rotate just to make sure that I didn't accidentally grab something else and that looks good I'm gonna right click and say copy go to attribute brass say okay twice and now we have a nicer looking live milling holder for uh, axial uh, milling and drilling for the main and sub spindle. So now what I want to do is define my uh, my milling spindles. 
and positions so that when I create a tool, the tool will automatically appear where I want it to, which is going to be at the center and the face of these collet nuts. <clears throat> so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, me, I just like to orient my my UVW first for the main, uh, for, the, for the tool position that faces the main. So we have our UVW here at XYZ. I'm just going to uh, come over to home and come to these work plane commands and come to rotate UVW and if you right click on this you can add this to the quick access toolbar and I have that already up here that's where I went originally uh, but since I'm making the video you can just click on this or right click and add any of the icons that you use very frequently up to this uh, toolbar here so you don't have to go to these different menus so it's a nice function in a spree. So I'm just going to say rotate UVW, and then I'm going to type 0, enter, negative 90 for Y, enter, and then 0 for Z. And it's just going to rotate about Y, negative 90, so that my Z axis is pointed into the holder, which is what I want. So then I'm going to come to uh, translate, which is this one here. I keep going to my quick access. So once I do that, and you can see that when I zoom in, uh, you'll see these uh, green, depending on the color scheme that you have, but when you move your icon over the face and at the center of the collet nut here, you'll see that highlight, and next to the cursor, you'll see a little circle up here, which indicates you're going to digitize on the center. And when I do that, it just snaps the new UVW there. We're going to come here and say, add a new work plane. We're going to say TSA underscore one. So what does TSA mean? Uh, tool spindle adapter or tool spindle axis. Not really sure what the A is. It's either adapter or axis. Uh, but regardless, this is going to define where my tool appears. <clears throat> and then we're going to come here and do the same thing over here. So I'm going to go to translate. I'm going to use my quick access toolbar this time. If you don't have it, you can go to the translate in the uh, the home menu there. Uh, now this is pointed the wrong way so we need to rotate about the X so you can go to the UVW rotate UVW and here we're gonna do 180 for X 0 0 <clears throat> so 180 enter 0 enter 0 enter and it will rotate 180 about X and get that normal uh, the Z uh, normal vector pointed inward to the holder and now I'm going to go ahead and define a new TSA, TSA underscore two. So me, in my head, I just have one always for the main or the one closest to the operator if it's a dual Y offset holder. And then two is always going to be uh, for the subspindle. You can do TSA main over here, TSA sub. But depending if I load this on the lower or if I flip it, you know, you're, you're going to... Uh, have those reversed. So now we want to split this solid. So I'm just going to hit Control A on my keyboard and come to modeling and split body. And then I'm going to pick this face, the face that is at the base of the collet and say OK. And when I do that, I get these two are going to be split. Uh, let me turn this off. Uh, Actually, that's an important point there. Maybe, depending on what was going on earlier, you're going to want to make sure that you have your uh, face face uh, capabilities turned on. So when I enable this, this is the way it looks normally. And we want to basically turn off the bodies, but turn on faces for when we're dragging so that we're picking faces. Now if we want to pick solids and only solids, we can add the bodies to that <clears throat> so we can pick that solid. And you'll see that that is now a separate solid. So I will uh, do this again on this side. And we are going to um, basically pick this solid now. And we're going to come back to the modeling split body and pick this face and say, OK. So now we have a main body solid and the two collet nuts 
our separate solids. So at this point, because we've um, split these, now when we save the GDML, we're going to have three solids embedded in there. So what we're going to do here, <clears throat> here is come to File, Save As, and I'm going to say GDML, and I'm saving this stuff in my uh, WTO Nakamura Tomei. Going to come down here and give it a name that, uh, an, an, an addendum to the name that uh, I will be able to give it myself a little bit extra information. So we're going to do axial dual main. We'll just do axial main sub. And once I've done that, uh, we've added that to our hard drive. But now here's something that's going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and load that in our product that's called Machine Tool Builder. And this is a product that allows you to do additional functionality. So for you guys, at this point, what you want to do is send this holder into us as uh, something that you request to edit, uh, where just basically send us the GDML and, and tell us that you want to um, put the collet nuts on us on the axis to spin them. So if you have Machine Tool Builder, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to create a group under each of these uh, tool spindle axes here. And then on your main body group, as we go through these different solids, we see we have a collet nut here. So this is the collet nut that's associated to this uh, spindle axis, this one here. And then we're going to find that second collet nut, which is this one. And we're going to drag that down to the second group that we created. And now what we want to do is basically, because we, we uh, have a spindle axis that's been rotated 90 degrees about Y effectively, we want to accommodate for that for the solid. So once we drag it, it gets put into this strange position. So to do this, we can come to, for this first one, we can see that it's uh, basically at 90 degrees, 0, minus 1, 0, and then this is the translation point. So we're going to come here and basically do the opposite. So I'm going to come here and say we're going to do minus 90 degrees with the same rotation, minus 0, minus 1, uh, 0. And then for the positioning, we have 74 0 and minus 55. So I'm going to come down here and say uh, minus 74, 0, and actually I think I need to, we're going to do minus 55, 0, and try 74 there. And put that at a positive. There we go. So we just need to figure out uh, the uh, positive or negative signs here, and then we're good. So now this collet nut has been repositioned to be on that main face, and now we're going to do the same thing on the back side. So we're going to come here and look at this. It's 180, and then basically a 101. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do 101, and then here we're going to do a negative 180. And then for the actual translation value, We've got 70 and 55, and is that symmetrical to the first one? No, it's not. It's slightly different. So we're going to do uh, 55, 0, 70, and that puts it right up on where it was before. And now we can basically come here to File, Save, and when we load this, our holder, when the milling tool is engaged, we'll see these collet nuts spinning.